Our next guest is the last, but certainly not the least, of this year's six Boomer Magazine Boomers and Shakers honorees that we've been talking to all this week here on Virginia This Morning. Chosen from reader nominations, these are people who make a difference in our community, but might go unrecognized. Kim Cassani is a successful housing community developer here in the metro area, but is also committed to volunteerism. Among her involvements, the One Voice Choir, organ donation, and adoption. We welcome Kim Cassani here to our show. Good morning. Good morning. And congratulations. Thank you. You're very welcome. You are one busy woman. But That's all of this here. seems to be tied into things that, that happen in your life or that are, are important to your life. That's Let's talk correct. about some of these things because it's kind of a laundry list. The first thing is organ donation and that is right. very personal to you. Right. About four years ago, my husband um, donated the right lobe of his liver, about 62%, to a college friend and former roommate and soccer teammate. And it opened our eyes to um, the whole situation, 120,000 people on the waiting list for organs. Um, and about 20, every 22 minutes, one of those people dies. Mm. And you can do the math there. Um, and started working with Donate Life uh, and trying to increase awareness of the need to register to donate your organs long after you need them. I don't know, I think it's a kind of interesting thing to think that my eyes might read music somewhere else or my liver might live beyond me to see another St. Patrick's Day, or my heart might go on to love another child. So I think it's the ultimate in recycling. And if you're not registered, we encourage everyone to register. That's a wonderful thing. You mentioned music. That is very dear to your heart, mm -hmm. too, with the One Voice Choir. Right. One Voice Chorus was started in 2001 when St. Giles Presbyterian Church in the West End did a joint concert with Ebenezer Baptist in Jackson Ward. And they realized that um, they had a lot of fun doing it, but it was a way to bring people from the African-American culture and the European-American culture together to uh, work on a project. And by doing that, they built better racial harmony. Yes, I went there, <laughs> racial harmony. Mm -hmm. um, and we find that as we sing and intentionally integrate that um, chorus, we find that we're more alike than we are different. So we model racial um, healing and reconciliation. We have a safe place to have conversations and we sing some pretty excellent music. You do. The so. cho chorus has been here on Virginia this morning. We mm -hmm. hope to have them here again in the early part of the next year right. when you do your next co concert. And speaking of racial harmony, that kind of brings your family all together too. It does. It does. Um, and I believe you're speaking about my youngest your daughter. daughter. Mm -hmm. We have three children, the youngest of which was adopted. She's multiracial. Mm -hmm. And um, that was sort of an extra benefit to me uh, with One Voice Chorus. I have a lot of friends that help me with things like hair, um, <laughs> uh, which is a practical thing, but the struggles are real. Um, and I work with C2 Adopt, which is a wonderful organization in Richmond, which does everything for your adoption journey, from the home study when you begin to when your child is nine and looks at you and asks you a question you don't know how to answer. They are here, uh, Rebecca Ricardo over there, Sharon Richardson, they do a great job um, in being a lifetime adoption resource. It's not a lot of time to talk about all the things that you do, but you do have a big heart. How do you, how do you time manage everything? Well, you know, I have to give kudos to my employer, for one thing. H.H. H. Hunt, um, and the company itself, H.H. H. Hunt Communities, they promise to be an engaged community partner. And they don't just say that for the things that they embrace, like Habitat for Humanity or Homes for Hope or the things that they're involved with, but they encourage their employees to go out in the community. So they give us the leeway to do that, and then they embrace the same things that we support. Well, we appreciate them supporting you and all you do, in the, and congratulations, Kim, on your honor. Thank you, and I'm gonna encourage you to wear our Donate Life pin. And in April 21st, I want to see the whole studio decked out in blue and green for Blue and Green Day. Remind me, and we'll definitely okay. do it. You can read the profiles of all this year's Boomers and Shakers honorees in the December-January issue of Boomer Magazine. Congratulations again to all of this year's honorees, and we thank them for coming to see us this week here on Virginia This Morning.